Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Capital Extra. I had some overflow video from this past weekend. It was like football overload. And uh, couldn't get enough of football. Had the high school football on Friday here in Ann Arbor. The big clash between the Spartans and the Wolverines for the uh, Paul Bunyan Trophy. Oh, and this part's for mature audiences only, but it's so famous they have t-shirts now that you can get with this artwork back there, but, yep. Well, this game was on Big Ten Network, and uh, you're right where that red dot is. And if you miss the show, go to det.com, and you can get the YouTube link. Uh, Michigan just scored, so they got six on the board. Getting near the end of the uh, first half. I was waiting for the extra point, but apparently they missed all that. But they got a turnover, and just before the half, they were able to tack on a field goal. So nine to seven at halftime. There's some alleys here in Dearborn, not Dearborn, in Ann Arbor. And uh, if I can get this in focus, yeah, vote. That's important. More than ever this year, it's important. It depends on what you want to see in our government uh, in the years to come. Do you want somebody that's a dictator and that's going to be buddy-buddy with Putin and King Jong-un and Viktor Orban and Netanyahu? All these authoritarian dictators, you know, they stick alike. They're like peas in a pod. They like that ultimate power, the ultimate control. And Trump now says he wants to attack the enemy from within. And that basically works out to anyone that doesn't agree with Trump. So if you don't agree with Trump, you're in big trouble. Because he's seeking retribution. Yes, he is. All right, vehicle is parked. So I, this is a great security thing, actually. You know, if your vehicle got stolen, you could track it with your phone. So my vehicle's right where the red pinpoint is. So I got a little walking to do. But I'll do that just to save on parking. Here, altered landscapes. Yeah, they're just bombing the Middle East. Just crazy. They pulverized all of Gaza. Now they're looking for uh, other places to pulverize, like Beirut and uh, probably Yemen, maybe Syria, Iran, too. Worst state ever. At least we can agree on that. We're united in that regard. But yeah, Donald Trump, he's like the divider. Just listen to his messages and his ads and everything. He's pitting black versus white, men versus women, um, whites versus Hispanics, right? All the immigrants. Uh, he doesn't want uh, the Hispanics coming up. I mean, you could make a laundry list of almost every ethnic group and list all the disparaging things that Donald Trump has said. Yet, for some reason, people uh, insist on voting for, for him because he's like a tough guy. But until he gets to your thing, like, I can't believe Arabic people, the Arab folk, are all, some of them are voting for Trump. The Hamtramck mayor and also the, uh, the mayor of um, Dearborn Heights. Imagine that. They must have political aspirations to go higher and just want the notoriety and the name recognition that would come with throwing their hat in the same ring as Trump. Can you imagine what Trump would do? He's all buddy buddies with Netanyahu. That's not going to further the Arabic cause in the Middle East to reelect Trump. Oh my Lord. Some places are non-committal and say vote for a third party candidate. No, that doesn't work. It's like that schadenfreude um, thing, the German expression. Yeah, 
The thing is, if Trump gets in, it's like, yeah, watch, you're going to get screwed. The only problem I have with that is that I get screwed, too, in the process because I don't think he's a big fan of the entitlements that we have, like the Social Security that we put in for all our life and the Medicare and Medicaid and the other different uh, government programs. No, he wants to do away with that and give tax cuts to the rich. So if you make over 400000 a year, I get it. Vote for Trump because you're going to get some nice tax cuts with him. But if you're Joe Schmo and Jane Doe and, you know, you're in the middle class or whatever and struggling to get by and paying your bills, my Lord, why would you vote for Trump? He's laughing all the way to the bank with that. Just thinking, you know, I can see Rush Limbaugh owning the libs and all that. Yeah, that's owning your fellow neighbors uh, your citizens when did it become bad that all of a sudden our government's the enemy and whatnot anyways i digress here's the union michigan union and they got this great placard on the front here john f kennedy i'm going to take a closer look at that because i can't believe early in the morning look at this here at 2 a.m. in the morning on October 14th, 1960. I was only just a few months old. John Fitzgerald Kennedy first defined, I don't know why you had to do it at 2 in the morning, but defined the Peace Corps. Unless they meant to say 2 p.m., I don't know. But uh, it's a beautiful building inside here. I just took a Quick peek, study lounge, but there weren't many people studying because the game was on. There were a few, but they got a big screen TV here. And the score is still 9-7 to seven with 10.31 left in the third quarter. Uh, Sigma Chi, that was the fraternity I was a member of before I... Uh, Oh, flunked out of school. I went to General Motors Institute, and you have to be seriously into your studies. I was, um, oh, I did not apply myself. All right, pizza bobs. They got submarine sandwiches. Then uh, Mr. Spots. They got Philadelphia cheesesteak sandwiches. And as luck would have it, they're open. But I actually wanted to uh, get out of Dodge before the game got over. So I'm walking back to the car, to the Mayavrik, and just taking a few shots going through the, uh, the campus area. If you're thirsty, drink Coke. But a lot of students running in and around through here. So there's student housing and the like and party stores to cater to that. There were plenty of, like, house parties and uh, people enjoying all that. There's a pizza and burrito joint. That I see what they did there. They combined the two, two of the major food groups. Lloyd Carr and Nick Saban. You remember when he was coach at, the, at MSU? He parlayed that into a pretty good career with Alabama. All right, so some pumpkin carving. In the city of Ann Arbor, that's their logo. Yeah, it's a scary place. Tis the season for all that. I can get you a glass of wine or a whole bottle. We are plenty of wine, but right through most of us and yeah, a lot of people get into their displays, which is quite fun. Um, and I've seen some nice displays in Dearborn, too. Here's like a skeleton <laughs> with a couple skeletons. And some rock stars. Yeah, people are pretty clever with their decorations. They use their imagination. And uh, there's a number of places that cater to all these. 
things. So you can spend your money if you have discretionary income. Yeah, people make it so bad like we live in such hard times. I would say right now we're not in, in bad times. The stock market is doing quite well. Reached all times high of 43,000 plus and maybe it's 42,000 somewhere in the middle there. But if you checked your 401k, it's doing good. You probably got a recent pay raise in the last couple of years. Uh, sure, inflation has hit, but we just came out of a pandemic. Trump did nothing to ease the fears and concerns with the pandemic. He pretty much dropped the ball and then blamed everything on the Democrats. But Biden pretty much na navigated us out of that horrible uh, pandemic, which, you know, we haven't, it's like every hundred years we had a bad one around 1920. So we got other issues to worry about, like climate change and stuff like that, and education. Republicans would have you believe that it's all the immigrants, it's all their problem. And then the, the trans people, like, <laughs> it's just nuts. They get a lot of mileage out of that, scare people. It's just, that's their process. Anyways, got to head for home and beat the traffic. And uh, I'm going to do like the football overload show and check out the Lions home game also, which will be the next day, which will be October 27th. But yeah. Game chase runs to his right. Throws it into the end zone. Nearly I was keeping tabs on the game, thinking I'd duck in and catch it on the TV. Here's that big paint can again. It's for sale, the whole thing. Yeah, I made it home, though, to see the final seconds tick off the clock, and Michigan ends up winning 24-17. to I really didn't see too much of the game. I was walking around pretty much mostly through there, but... There was a little action, I guess, at the end of the game, too. A little pushing and shoving. That's kind of uncalled for. But there's the Paul Bunyan trophy, and that's it. It was a final. MSU drops to 4-4 four and four on the year. And Michigan is, what, 5-4 and four now? Or 5-3. Five 5-3. And three. Five and three. Yeah, they both played eight games. All right. Got to keep tabs on baseball. The World Series is like must-watch TV. And the Dodgers got another one. That Freeman keeps hitting home runs. So, yeah, they're up 2 to nothing. New York's got their work cut out for them. All right, so this is Sunday, October 27th. I took the rubber ducky for a ride. And I like to park up on the seventh floor. I get a spectacular view here. Yeah, sunny and 50 degrees, yes. There's the IM Church. They were going to move that to make way for Comerica Park, but then they put it on the other side of Woodward. There's a couple larger-than-life rubber duckies down there, but this is uh, Featherstone Farm Stand, so it looks like it was open to the public. I don't know if they were selling some vegetables or pumpkins or or what they were doing some advertising up in the sky and I'm up on the seventh floor so we'll take a look at the Gordy Howe Bridge that's the US side there they still got the crane so they're doing some work still on the towers that's the Windsor side in the Ambassador Bridge in the foreground but a mile upstream as the crow flies here are their Lions fans for sure at the MGM Grand Casino there's a look at the moon. It's kind of hiding there. It's kind of camouflaged, but it's up there. I had my phone. Uh, I, I knew kind of the general direction. So it's 20.1% a waning crescent. So it's on its way to being a sliver and then a new moon. There's the Hudson's Tower, and they got most of the glass up now. 
the water, I haven't seen the water run here at this D-T-E. Not to be confused with D-E-T, which is my website. So if you miss a program and want to go back, you can get the latest shows on my website. Or you can go to YouTube and get the whole library. All right, you got to watch for those scooter things. They move up fast and they come up on you real quick. You don't even hear them. Lucy and Ethel's, it's a diner and more. Ooh, there's a lion in there. See all that? So they're tailgating. Um, there's the book tower. Here's our the Rosa Parks Transit Center. This is the federal building. But yeah, the it's so well-designed, architecturally pleasing bus transit depot or whatnot. Here, from motors to machines to submarines. So they're really doing this. BuildSubmarines.com So if you're into the submarines, there you go. Here, the Free Press building. This was abandoned for many a year. So now they've repurposed it into uh, housing. Look at this. Now leasing. A new story for a timeless treasure. Studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments for lease. So grab your pen and write this down. The Press321Detroit.com or there's the, uh, the phone number. Yeah, well that's good to do. Repurpose buildings rather than have them abandoned. Here the David Stott in front of the uh, the Hudson's Tower, and it uh, old in the foreground, new in the background. All right, well this is the front entrance to the Free Press Building. So these cement reliefs—that's pretty clever how they do all this. And then these statues. This building has stood the test of time. So the Press Three Two One. And then opportunity awaits even if you want to have a business, a retail spot. It says 1,900 to 6,200 square feet. $10 for parking. Now, that's not so bad. They're not raking you over the coals. All right, established way back in 1882. They got a hotel. I did not know that. But the Detroit Club, they're Lions fans also, along with the Fleur de Lis. But I think you have to be a member. I'm just saying, I don't know for sure. Here's the King Kong building, the Penobscot Tower. They would be an easy building for King Kong to climb and swat away planes and helicopters and whatnot. Then here's a placard describing this, variations on logo. A lot of Lion fans making their way to the ballpark. And this is in front of the federal building, so they got good eagle uh, displays here and then uh, another one so United States of America while well, we still have a democracy my lord I don't want a big time wrestling three ring circus with Donald Trump god people got to get smarter than that and say we can do better in America what a clown. We had four years of this guy. He should be in jail, yet people are willing to uh, vote him in office again. All right, this clock is not accurate at all. And the Penobscot building built in 1928, at least the main tallest tower. There's three parts to the Penobscot building. It's quite the uh, building complex. Channel 7 WXYZ has a studio here. So if you watch the morning show, a lot of times you'll see people out and about walking around on Woodward Avenue. This place is open, which was great. I was getting tired of all this walking, decided I want to step inside and sit down, catch my bearings. Here's the queue line in action. Grand Trunk. This was the ticket office. If you wanted a train ticket, so you could get it downtown, and then I guess you, you would go to the Michigan Central Depot and board your train. I would imagine they had a ticket office there, too, but this is a nice little watering hole 
uh, restaurant type thing. They are certainly Lion fans. It's a blue light district. A nice chandelier. I like the roof or the ceiling, I should say. Um, here's the Jolly Green Giant. He was cleaned up a while back, so he's got a nice green patina. And here's the All-American Family, Golden. For mature audiences only, i got to say that to, uh, like, cover my ass type thing. Who, a black fist versus a white fist. Guess who wins? I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, that's the Joe Lewis fist. So, yeah, don't mess with Detroit. We'll kick your ass. All right, this thing... Shows it that Detroit's a little twisted kind of thing, like a 90-degree twist. And we're getting close to meeting in the middle a little bit. This is the labor monument type thing. And Scientology, I'm not sure, is that the Tom Cruise religion? That might be it. So they have an office in Detroit. And then they're doing some work here on Hard Plaza. They got this... Um, underground railroad monument that i guess they're redoing a little bit or the display but across the river that's canada way down yonder where you see the maple leaf yeah it's windsor ontario canada the full kit and caboodle there they got a casino over there and check this out a lot of fisher people out there and I think it's the walleye that are running. And they run for a little while. So I was told like a month. And it was called the Fall Brawl. So they have a big brawl over catching the fish apparently. But yeah, it's that, that good time of year. Uh, that's Canadian Club down there. They used to scroll it out, Canadian Club in Neon, which was awesome. This is part of the... Grand Prix course that runs through town here it's expensive to park I like to opt for the free parking I'll walk a country mile before I pay those rates but sometimes you do it out of convenience now look at this they were proud of me uh, proud to be American four times over but now it's three times plus the Lions which is very well done we are certainly proud to be Lion fans. I think for all intents and purposes, we're all on the bandwagon now. All right. So if you want to welcome the Canadians back to the good old USA or the U.S. residents back to the USA, this is where you would do it. That was the tunnel entrance or exit. Um, so Detroit Windsor Tunnel. In Windsor, they call it the Windsor Detroit Tunnel. They need to be they need to be corrected, I do believe. Um, and I'm not sure uh, if there's joint ownership. The Canadians are going to own the uh, Gordie Howe Bridge, though they paid for it. That tunnel to Canada sign, I'd love to have one of those. That's like an old school sign. Here. Uh, the bell tower, this is like the Edmund Fitzgerald. They rang the tower when they had that tragedy, but it's a circular staircase up, and they were having a service right at the time. So I was going to step inside and see the church, but I didn't want to interrupt the service. So I showed the bell tower and then exiting out here. See, the service starts at 11. I think I was here just after, yeah, 12, 12. So the service was almost concluded, but that's the bell tower, the Mariner's Church, and this goes back to 1842. Wow, it goes back. You recognize this guy? He was the founder of the country, Washington. Now we have somebody that wants to have complete control and be a dictator. And just call all the shots and get the enemy from within. So anyone that doesn't agree with Donald, I don't know. What, do they get tossed in jail or something? Holy crap. That's what a democracy is all about. You hash out different ideas. 
and then the House and the Senate kind of vote on it, and if it gets a majority, it passes, right? Here, the iPhone 16 Pro, you can take great pictures with that. I have an old-school camcorder. People make fun of my camcorder all day long, but it still works good in low-light conditions. It's adequate enough for me. All right, the time is 1237, but none of these clocks are like even remotely close uh, with a name a bar name like Greenwich Mean Time it seems like they would pay more attention to the details all right in Rome that's not accurate this one's their most accurate Detroit I could live with that it's only like four minutes fast or so that's not too bad this uh, the bartender was showing me this bottle. This would make a great bottle for a, a boss. Put some long stem roses in here, but she's going to do something with lavender. She said, um, like for bubble bath type stuff or whatever. All right, well, you can pay 50 bucks to park. No way, Jose. Look at the, uh, the Hudson's Tower. I like how it matches with the sky. Hey. $50 is even over their maximum rate. Can they do that? Here's the waterboard building. Yeah, it's like... And then this, they knocked down a few buildings here. So urban planning, what's all going to happen there? And I should be an honorary, honorary member of this place, the Temple of Oddfellows. Because I know for sure I'm not normal. And I would actually take it as an insult if somebody said yeah you're just a normal person nope that would not be me um, anyways uh, the peach cobbler factory that sounds great here's the exchange building it's built from the top down or the bottom up however you want to look at it coming soon post bar I did not know this they used to have a cool bar when you went to Joe Lewis Arena that was quite popular all right well it's yeah game on I was monitoring some of the TVs here and there Harvard Square they need to do some work on that building a lot of the buildings are starting to get repurposed in Detroit even Stevie Wonder is noticing all that which is good because it's time for Detroit to get its shit together if I can put it that way because we are a great city call for peace yes in the Middle East and in Ukraine wow we got these dictators that want to have a, a war Netanyahu's just he's he's evil he, he's got to keep that war going because then he'll keep his job if the war's over then uh, I guess they can vote so he's, he's not the best person to be in that right now because he's going to stir up trouble. I wonder when the October surprise, it's about right about now that one of those October surprises will hit. Well, if you're into shoes, you can do some shoe shopping over here. This is a fancy place. If I did shop, I would shop here. No, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, Myers, uh, Walmart, Target, those would be probably the stores, but I don't shop that often. And it shows, unfortunately. Uh, here's the Metropolitan Building, and they're proud to be American. This building was vacant for many a years. Now it's a hotel. I like the Knight in Shining Arbor there. I think it's a Weston, if I'm not mistaken. And then the Wurlitzer building, they're Lion fans. Nothing stops Detroit. They got a little alley back here, so they got a piano bar, which is kind of neat. And then murals all over the place. So, yeah, this is a Gucci one, Change Makers. And, oh, I love the door handles here. These are exquisite. They just and it's for mature audiences only. Don't get your panties in a bunch or whatever. Sometimes in architecture they celebrate the human figure as kind of like an art form as well it should be. 
Here's some good lighting and then the candy bar. What a great name. I'm just going to take a quick peek inside, but nice lighting. They got a huge disco ball. Then look at this chandelier. And then they got top shelf alcohol up there. I do the bottom shelf type stuff, the well. But uh, next door they have a barber shop called the Social Club. Oh, then there was a DJ spinning tunes there. Here an, a jeweler, which is nice, but yeah, their time... For a long time it was accurate, but now the batteries ran out or they got to replace the gerbils in there or whatever it is. But, yeah. All right. Game started at 1 or thereabouts. So, yeah. The Detroit Athletic Club, I see someone up there walking. That's great when the Tigers are playing. You get a nice view into the Comerica Park. Detroit Opera House, and then if you're in the track and field, they have a nice statue out here, but yeah, this is in front of the athletic club. They keep wanting me to become a member, but I can't afford the monthly dues. It's more than what they charge at Planet Hollywood, so I don't know. I'll have to wait. No, I say that in jest, and there's no way in hell that they would invite me to be a member, but you got to be a player shaker and decision maker. Here, I like the stairwell there with the shadows. We're, I like this building too because they're Lion fans. It looks like the Lion's playing with a soccer ball there. But yeah, this is a cigar place here. Look at the Lions above the archway here. And it, they had the game on Fox NFL, but got to be careful what you show because, um, well, this place gets my official seal of approval. Uh, we're right where that red dot is. This is a neat little place. I don't smoke cigars, but I don't mind the smell. And it's an atmosphere where if you wanted to indulge, you could. Plus, they have entertainment. Oh, this is the small of the back. The Cubans know all about that. But then they got their retail place there. Um, and then nearby the music hall. So this is a historic site. And they have a neat little jazz cafe in there that I'm going to have to check out. But look at the lighting. I'm just slowly making my way down to Ford Field. There you see it. But, oh, the Bonanza with the returnables. Wow, he's going to spend some time at the returnable machine. All right, Grit. So they got the banner. You can get your Lions merchandise and apparel. And, uh, yeah, Shinola's good on time. They might be, oops. They're a three minutes fast there. And I'm I'm within a 10 or, 10 or so seconds. I'll have to check it again. There's taking a peek inside. Somebody threw out that little football. I picked that up. It must be a corporate sponsor. All right, here we go. More fight, more heart, more grit. So combine all three things. Yes, a nice little run in the playoffs would be nice. All right, Norman Turkey Stearns, one of the greatest power hitters in baseball history. Yeah, we need more Detroit stars for sure. <laughs> this, yeah, clean up on aisle one. Yeah, horses were around here. They do the crowd control. Oh, here he is. Our fearless leader in charge. My lord. He gets. Now, we, we can do better. Uh, Donald Trump should just exit stage right and just fade away. I'd even w willing... Be willing to give him a pardon and just be through with him. My Lord, we just don't need that. And, of course, he's not going to accept the results of the election unless he wins. So 
It's going to throw the whole country into turmoil here. Oh, yikes. Do we need that? We're smarter than that. Oh, man. All right. Central United Methodist Church right here on Woodward Avenue, Main Street, Detroit. This is a family event, to be sure. It was a nice Sunday afternoon. Yeah, you didn't have to have tickets for the game. You could just walk around downtown and have a good time. Here you can get a bus that will connect you uh, to Ann Arbor. It may make a stop at the airport, too. I don't know if that's a direct route. I'm going to have to check in on that again. All right. So, nice little run back here. Got to be careful, though, how you show video highlights. All right. The Park Bar. And, yeah, art is everywhere. So, it was for cleaners for a little bit, I guess. I'm not sure if this art is for... Oh, mature audiences only. Oh, maybe I didn't say it quick enough, but... Yeah, so they have a little restaurant here. It's a neat little building. Then an elevator. That's old school there. All right. Yeah, I might have to be... I showed a little bit more than I probably should have there. But I'm monitoring the game. Uh, but it was all tied up at 14-all. And now Detroit is up by two touchdowns. And it just got better from there. As it turns out, the Lions ended up winning. And uh, so they're 6-1 and one on the year. And here it's 35-14. So, and let's see, yeah, half times, 35 14. So now I'm going to walk back to the Maverick and beat the traffic again back home. But yeah, that's where they're playing down yonder. And game will get done around four or shortly after four. 80 bucks. Yeah, I'll definitely walk a country mile before I spend 80 bucks. Where do people get that kind of money? All right, Loyal Order of the Moose. Moose is the same, singular or plural. So you can have one moose or you can have several moose. Some people might say mooses, but that would be improper. We would get the idea of what you mean, but... It's one of those weird things in the English language. Sometimes different words. The plural is not what you would expect. All right, here, a UM, UM Center for Innovation. So the universities are making a splash in the city of Detroit. It's not at their main campuses only anymore in Ann Arbor and East Lansing. Both MSU and Michigan have a presence in the city of Detroit. As well they should. There's the castle. And there's a nice rest, couple restaurants in that building now. All right, the Featherstone Cafe. All right, self-parking, it's the same thing as free parking. It's synonymous. So I'm up there on the seventh floor. And so I'm going to do a little Stairmaster thing. Plum used to be the... Peace, love, and sex, drugs, and rock and roll type artsy part of uh, Detroit, Plum Street. All right, so I made it up to the seventh floor. There's the Maverick. And if I press this unlock button, it'll light up the license plate. If I And then I got my switchblade key. So... And then there's a Bigfoot sighting. We need to promote that in Michigan more. That will be good for tourism. We'll just tell people Bigfoot sightings all over and just tromp through the woods. And, yeah, especially with the fall colors, I'm sure uh, Bigfoot lo would look great out there. I don't know if it's just a male version. I would have to presume there would be a female Bigfoot, too. And the little youngins running around also, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled. All right, 
So here through the parking deck, and uh, Lion fans for sure at the MGM Grand, thank you for the free parking. But I'm gonna head back to Chicago. But I'll exit first at uh, exit 202. That's what I tell myself so I don't forget. 202 is my exit. I'm gonna head north on Telegraph Road to the beautiful bedroom community of Dearborn Heights where apparently the mayor of Dearborn Heights is a Trumper. Oh my Lord. See how that works out for you if Trump gets in for the Arab cause. That's gonna work just fabulous. How many more people are gonna die? 42,000 people plus in Gaza. Then uh, it seems like Netanyahu's intent on taking Lebanon now too. And uh, wow, you're gonna toss your hand in the ring? For uh, Trump? Really? You've got to be kidding me. My Lord. There's something in it for them. They're, to sell out like that? Wow. Jeez, yeah. old Pete. All right. Well, there's looking out at the bird feeder. The birds are pretty active. They do like the bird food I'm getting them. All right. So the 4 o'clock game. It was just, it was a whole football weekend kind of thing. So, going to get near the end. I'm going to have some, uh, it's going to be a short show. This was on CBS. They're a little bit better as far as giving you the scores of the other games. They'll scroll that on the bottom. So, we're proud to be American. Look at the Jets lost. Boy, I feel sorry for them. Wink, wink. Not really. Oh, so that was fun football. Okay, back to high school. I went back and checked who makes the playoffs here. So Advanced Tech Academy and Divine Child automatically get in at 6-3. and three. But three other teams made it. Dearborn, Fordson, Crestwood did not with the 5-4 and four record. But Robichaud with a 4-5 and five record got in. So apparently you don't need a winning record. I even saw a three and six team. All right, here's the big boys, Division One. So Fordson and Dearborn. Uh, Fordson has the better playoff percentage, so they'll host a game against Dearborn this coming. Uh, well, it'll be November first. So if you're uh, November ready, this is playoff football. All right, another big game, Gibraltar Carlson. I like those guys. And then Allen Park. So I'm checking out the Down River League also. So Allen Park and Gibraltar will both host uh, the first round of uh, playoffs. They'll host the, the game. Here, Division Three. I'm going to check out a few of these. Garden City's done good this year. They have to go on the road to Wald Lake R Western. River Rouge got in with a 4-4 four and four record, but... They, were, they had a tough schedule, so they're going to give Southgate all they can handle. And then that Trenton Riverview, Riverview matchup should be unreal. That'll be a good game. All right, so here, Division Four. These are nice PDF files that you can print these things out. Chelsea, who I just visited this last weekend, I'm going to root for them. And then this is Division Four. Divine Child is also in that division. So they have to go on the road, Madison Hills. And then the last one I'm going to show is Division Six, because the school I haven't seen yet because I don't think they have a whole playoff thing. Well, here's Dearborn Heights, Robichaud. They have a tough first-round opponent, Jackson Lumen Christie. But Dearborn, Dearborn Advanced Tech Academy, yeah, wow. They're having a good year. I have not seen them play. I'm not sure. They don't have a home field. So, but we'll, next week we'll start the playoffs. So I'll check on that. All right. So I updated the scoreboard here for the Lions. They got a five game win streak. It's off to Green Bay next week. So that'll be a big game. A 425 start. And now I got to start editing. So uh, in front of the TV, I got my little Radio Shack soundboard, my DVD recorder. This is old school. It's kind of like dinosaur action. 
and uh, it's going to go black screen for a little bit, then blue screen, and then I can just press stop. Yeah, I ran out of video there. So um, this was just extra motor capital extra. Sometimes I put an oldie show in this time slot, but I had enough video that I decided I'll just put this on there. But folks, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week or weekend. And another thing I might add is that I can't even monitor my show anymore. I um, I kind of ditched Comcast. I didn't like the way they were charging for cable. So I went with streaming video. So I got WOW for providing the high-speed internet. And then I got YouTube TV, which, um, let's see, the internet's going to cost me $30 a month. And the YouTube TV, they said around 75 So my cable bill will be around 100 a month as opposed to Comcast, which was around 230 Now, I did have international phone service, but I don't need the landline. And you can get um, phone service with your cell phone. I'm going to check Min Mobile. You can get $15 a month, and you can have phone service, plus you can phone Mexico and Canada so I have a sister that lives outside of Montreal so it'd be nice to get my mint mobile but yeah I ditched the landline I don't have HBO anymore which was like an extra 15 bucks a month but still cable had just gotten ridiculously expensive the only problem with having the streaming is I can't monitor uh, my show and see if it airs and then I've watched my show in the past, and I make a bunch of blunders. Sometimes I don't have my facts exactly right. I remember once I said there was a building that had 10 units in it, and there were six buildings, so I said I meant to say 6 times 10 equals 60. Check my math. But I had six buildings and I six units, and I said made it like it was 36 when it was actually 60 you know so i just confused myself my arithmetic was way off so i make mistakes all the time so i'll apologize up front but they're not major mistakes they're just um little tongue twisters sometimes and i'm talking too fast or whatnot but yeah i can't monitor my show and have all the disclaimers but Maybe that's a good thing that I can't see it. Just run with it, throw it out there, and see if anything sticks, I guess. But, man, I, I wish our country well in the future. It's time to move on from Trump. I don't mind if you get a Republican in there, but just have some decency and common sense. This whole thing about the language sometimes talking about enemies like vermin and stuff like that he's using the hitler playbook that mind comp you say the media's bad everybody's bad you just attack the social institutions now all of government is bad too well the government is full of people like you and i that are out there doing their job day in and day out and just because it's government does doesn't mean it's evil they're providing services and programs to help people and to provide, provide things like safety and security, the military and government assistance for your Medicare and stuff like that and retirees to have Social Security and just to monitor things like protecting our food, you know, to make sure it's safe and our roads that we have safe vehicles and yeah, it's it's all good, but yeah, they uh, you know the Republicans want to take off all the guardrails, all the regulations, just drill, 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 baby, drill, and um, screw the environment. Climate change doesn't exist, right? Let's just stick our heads in the sand and just say, no, 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 nothing to see here, blah, 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 right? Holy cow! Yeah, don't get me started. I could round out the top of the hour, but I. I'm just blabbing along uh, here. I should. It's more better when I have video, and at least you could watch that and then turn down the sound. But man, I'm nervous about this election. I really am. 
because people are people. We all got to live together. I bet you like 90% of the things I can agree with everybody on, but it's, you know, I don't want the goofball running our country and just for the rich and wealthy. Wowie, kazowie. You know, how about something for the common man, the little people out there, the grassroots people? Holy cow. We'll have to see how this plays out. But, all right, 50 minutes and 28 seconds. All right. I'm winded and I'm tired now. I'm all talked out, if you can imagine that. All right. Good night, and yeah, next week will be fun because it'll be uh, Friday night football, but it'll be the playoffs, and so this will be fun. This is for all the marbles, the nitty-gritty, every game counts. You win and you move on. You lose and your, your season's over, so there's this is going to be fun. This uh, Hold on to your hat, as they say. Anyways, that's next week. So enjoy this week while you can. All right. Good night.